Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. In portfolio management, in the last class we have seen measurement of return on portfolio. Measurement of return on portfolio. Today we will see measurement of risk on portfolio. Risk and return both are interrelated. Return we have seen, today we will see the risk. Okay, measurement of risk on portfolio. How do we measure the risk? Generally, this is based on the statistical methods only. Did you remember in statistics, average, standard deviation, covariance, so correlation, okay? Did you remember? Same thing we are going to calculate to measure the risk. Very simple. Just focus one problem, I will make you to understand. Same pattern problems, n number of problems, you can find it from your textbook, given material. Now, shall we go ahead? Simple. The problem is given to us. Stock A and B had the following returns. Two stocks are there. Stock A, stock B. Two stocks are there. Their returns are given to us. Return is given. What we have to calculate? Risk. Years, how many years are there? Five years. Stock A returns, stock B returns. There are some negative values also, doesn't matter. So, what they are asking us? we have to calculate four things. One is average returns of A and B. Average returns. Average returns means nothing but arithmetic mean average calculation. Okay. So, this is average returns is nothing but arithmetic mean. Individual series this is. Arithmetic mean what is the formula? Sigma x by n. The same formula we are going to use. So, this is average returns we are going to calculate. Then after that risk of A and B. Whenever you want to calculate risk, please remember we have to go ahead for sta the standard deviation calculation. Standard deviation. How do you show standard deviation? Row. Standard deviation. Okay. Standard deviation we are going to cal calculate. This is individual series. Standard deviation formula. Did you remember standard deviation formula is sigma root of sigma d square by n. Root of sigma d square by n. This is the formula of standard deviation because this is individual series. If it is a discrete and continuous series, root of sigma d, d square by n minus sigma d by n whole square, that was the formula for discrete and continuous series. Now, right now, this is individual series. We need simple formula. One is, that one is root of sigma d square by n. Standard deviation we are going to calculate. Am I clear? Third one, covariance of A and B. For covariance, there is a formula. These two formulas you have to remember. Covariance of A and B, correlation of A and B. Covariance of A and B formula is this one. Covariance of A and B together. Sigma dA, sigma dB by N. Very simple. Sigma dA, sigma dB by N. So, this is covariance of A and B. Covariance, you got it. Now, correlation. Correlation of A and B. Correlation of A and B formula is this. Correlation, we say R. Did you remember? Correlation of A and B. So, R A B. That is equal to covariance of A and B. This one, whatever we have calculated, this one we are taking. Covariance of A and B divided by standard deviation of A, standard deviation of B. Standard deviation also already we have done here a second bit only. Everything is we have calculated just substituting in the formula. So, that is called as correlation of A e and B. Covariance of A e and B, correlation of A e and B, standard deviation here, average. That is all very simple. So, half of the problem I have done already because it will be easy for us to work out. It will save our time. Now, let us see. First, let us focus on the average returns. Here, returns of A, returns of B. A and B, both are separate. So, we will calculate it separately. Kept a heading of calculation of average returns of A and B. Calculation of average returns on, of A and B. Say, average returns of A. How do you get average returns of A? This total divided by 5. Number of observations are 5. This total. How do you get this total? Uh, this is 20. 20 minus 10, 10. 10 plus 10, 20. So, 20 you got total. This total is 20. 
20 divided by number of observation how many numbers are there 5 only 20 divided by 5 I got average of 4 percent this is for average of A in the same way average of B total it 1 2 3 4 this total minus 12 you will be getting 25 25 divided divided by 5 so 5 percent is the average return for the B okay average return for B A and B average returns you got this means first one is over now let's let's focus on the standard deviation risk of A and B risk means we'll be calculating as I said standard deviation for standard deviation calculation the formula is root of sigma d square by n what do you need d we want once if you get the d d square we can do so for that I have prepared one table this is the table heading I have given risk of a and b calculation of risk of a and b three columns first three columns are for a next three columns are for b three columns what I have done returns of a as it is I have written phi a minus 10 same as it is I have written as per the formula we need d square to get the d square what do you need d we want so d one column d square another column d how do you get d you are going to get r minus ar r is returns r means returns r minus ar ar is average returns average returns are here 4 so i'll write here ar means what do you got 4 percent so this is 4 percent first one I kept it blank to show you uh, r minus ar r is 5 ar is minus 4 5 minus 4 it comes to 1 percent so I will write here 1 percent in the same way rest of the things also minus 5 minus 4 comes to minus 14 15 minus 4 11 like this you got the r am i clear about r same statistics we used to take the deviation the same deviations we have taken here r minus ar ar is average return from our average returns means from mean we have taken the deviations like you got the d once if you get the d d square is very simple d square it 1 into 1 comes to 1 minus 14 into minus 14 196 11 into 11 121 like this d square also you got the total is sigma d square total is 322 so this is for stock of a over in the same way stock b stock b also returns as it is i have written next d d square we want how do you get d r minus r r is returns ar is here 5% i'll write here AR is here 5%. AR is equal to 5%. R is here 10 minus 5. How much it comes? 5%. So I'll write here 5%. In the same way, minus 12 minus 5 minus 17. Like you have done D, calculated D. Then after that, what do you need? D square. For D square, First, we'll take first number 5 into 5. This word 5 into 5, 25. In the same way, 7 into 17, 17 into 17, 289, like you have done this word. We need total of only this word only. So, this this word total this word is of stock B. This total is 404. Remember, we need these two. This word of stock A, this word of stock B. Now, easy to calculate the standard deviation. Standard deviation is equal to standard deviation of A, root of sigma d square by n. d square is here, a is d square, 322. Root of 322, or otherwise I will write here only. 322 by n, n is 5. In the same way, uh, this total is, 404 404 divided by 5 let's see the calculations standard deviation of a 322 divided by 5 
64.4 i'm getting 64.4 uh 64.4 if we take out the root someone is asking how to take out the root madam see this number i have written simply you have to press root root symbol this is the root i got 8.02 8.02 is the standard deviation of a in the same way standard deviation of b will see 404 divided by 5 this i am getting 80.8 80.8 if you take out the root 80.8 i got it na just press root if i press the root i am getting 8.98 98 means 99 you can take 8.99 so you got standard deviation of a and b standard deviation of a is 8.02 standard deviation of b is 8.99 means risk of a and b we have calculated risk of and risk of a is 8.02 risk of b b stock is more okay up to here this is okay now next we will focus on the covariance of a and b covariance of a and b formula is this one sigma da sigma db by n okay so for that i am preparing one more table where covariance of a and b what do we need da and db so da i have written same one da this one only da da same one i have transferred here and db db is this one da db as per the formula what do we need da into db another column opened da into db 1 into 5% 5 minus 14 into minus 17 238 like da into db i have calculated this total is coming to 348 am i clear about this table covariance calculation formula remember as per the formula i prepared the table formula is here sigma da sigma db by n sigma da db means i am preparing it da we know this one db also you know da db as it is written and multiplied you got da db so this total is 348 if we apply it in the formula sigma da db 348 divided by n is number of observations 5 so i am getting here 69.6 percent so this is covariance of a and b this is also over once if this is done last one correlation of a and b correlation of a and b is here formula covariance of a and b divided by standard deviation of a and standard into standard deviation of b covariance of a and b means this one 69.6% okay 69.6% divided by standard deviation of a 8.02 8.02 into standard deviation of b 8.99 we'll calculate mm, this one is as it is 69.9 divided by 8.02 into 8.99 this comes to 72. 09 09 means 10 we can say now we'll see it 69.6 divided by 72.10 this i am getting 0.965 0.965 so this is correlation between a and b ultimately we are focusing on the correlation of a and b risk and uh, how much is the risk that you came to know through the standard deviation covariance we have calculated to know the correlation of a and b correlation answer you got 0.965 what does it mean just recollect statistics correlation whenever positive value positive value means there is a perfect positive correlation is there between two variables what are the two variables return a and return b 
stock of a and b in between that there is a perfect correlation good correlation is there if it is minus value positive value this is if the value was minus negative correlation is there means not recommend this is somewhat it is good recommended plus one if you get that is much more recommended anyhow this is not harmful ultimately this is our conclusion am i clear about this let me give you a recap here what we have done is four things we have to calculate one is average returns average simple arithmetic mean we have calculated then risk of a and b whenever they say risk of a and b we have to calculate the standard deviation standard deviation formula is you know root of sigma d square by n so that standard deviation we have calculated then covariance of a, a and b covariance of a and b means simple formula remember sigma d a d b by n covariance if you get the covariance correlation correlation is based on covariance only so the formula is covariance of a and b divided by standard deviation of a standard deviation of b that's all same pattern problems take out your test book and start working out it's very easy next class will work out one more different problem so that is also important even this one you can expect in the examination easy right so stay connected don't forget to share these videos so see you in the next class take out the screenshot good luck you can take the screenshot now